Hey, I'm Andy, I'm from Reading, and this is this week's 24-7 Rewind. The verses I've been thinking about this week are from Matthew, from the parable of the sheep and the goats, and this is Matthew 25, verse 34 onwards. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I, w I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. I wonder if the people that we come across this week, we could think about that idea that we're entertaining, we're caring for Christ himself and those that we care for. This is how Shane Claiborne put it in a prayer uh, from one of his books. I wonder if we can pray this together. O God of the poor and meek, Form us into people who do not conform to the patterns of this world, but rather to conform to the norms of your upside-down kingdom. Give us eyes to see you in those who suffer. Move us to the margins of this world and help us to find you there in your most distressing disguises. Amen. So, this week on the website, on the blog, there's a brilliant story from Teresa Stone about what happens when prayer hits the streets in Manchester. Lots of incredible stories of prayers answered. Pete Gregg's also written a blog about smuggling Bibles into China in his underpants. Would you believe that? Well, that's what he did, so read that. And then there's a really cool feature about a guy who hiked the North Pole in order to pray for the Earth. That's all on the website this week. I wonder if you could remember too, there's two really massively important gatherings that are taking place in the 24-7 family. In Skopje, in Macedonia, there's a Balkan gathering. And then in Kansas City, in the States, the American Council and then American communities are getting together to plan and discuss and conspire and pray together, share life together. Pray for those two gatherings and pray that God will bless them. Other than that, check the website out and we'll see you soon. Bye!